job, you're empty. Okay, now, go ahead and put it on safe. There you go. Now, drop the magazine. All right, check the chamber to make sure it's empty right there. You good? Good job, well done. Good hits on steel. It's time for face-off, AKM versus AK-74. We're going to run them through the MGM steel course. You remember it if you've been watching the show. I'm going to run the AKM through it and then run the AK-74. And we'll use it as a benchmark to compare the newer, smaller caliber AK-74 against. Let's see how it shakes. OK, to remind the folks at home what the test is here, it's 15 yards, which is about the max distance of an assault rifle on burst fire. We've got 12 rounds in the magazine. I'm going to put two or three round bursts on that left hand 12 by 12. And we'll see how many hits we have at the end. Going hot. Okay, the slant brake muzzle compensator was doing a real good job of pushing the muzzle down low left. And actually at this distance, too good of a job because my second shot was always off to the low left. If I'd have been a little bit closer, 10 yards or so, probably would have put both rounds on the steel plate or the upper torso, but I think 15 yards was a no-go. Okay, AK-74 time. Basically, gun set up exactly the same, except it has a side folding stock, 545 caliber, and a muzzle brake. We'll see how effective it is. Well, I think the target says it all. When I was able to keep it at two round bursts and not three, I was eating the target up. Obviously, the Soviets put this on here for a reason. It's very effective, even at the cost of increased flash signature at night. Now it's time for the accuracy comparison, AKM, AK-74. We're back here at approximately 100 yards, and we're going to shoot at that full-size MGM silhouette with the 8-inch circle in the middle. Now, the goal is to put all three shots from the kneeling on the 8-inch circle at all costs, all three shots on the steel silhouette. Up first, 762 by 39. AKM. Okay, all three hits on the torso, two of them on the swinging eight inch steel. I'll take that. Actually, if this gun had a little bit better zero, I'd be able to hit that eight inch steel every time. AKs are dramatically more accurate than people give them credit for. Now, same drill from the kneeling AK-74. Okay, three for three with the AK-74. Now, frankly, with a good zero on both guns, you can hit that eight inch swing and steel all day long. Both guns are dramatically more accurate than most people give them credit for. I see that time and time again in the AK classes I teach. If you know what you're doing, you can do some serious work with one of these Kalashnikovs. Okay, in the reload drill with the AKs, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Semi-automatic. I'm going to do three shots at the small circle in the body. Click. Because remember, there's no bolt hold open device on the AK. The only way you're going to know the gun's empty is when you attempt to fire and you hear a click. Reload the weapon and then one shot to the head, attempting to put it in the little T slot. Now, the way I reload an AK is old school, real simple. I take out the first magazine, the empty magazine, and I rock in a new one and I rack the bolt. One thing I have going for me as shooting the long gun from a left handed point of view is the charging handles on the right side. It's easier for me to rack a new round into the chamber. AKM is up first. Okay, did pretty good work on the body. Had one round out, but the other two were through the circle. 
After I reloaded, I came up and I hit just above the T slot. It had a little momentum. It kicked the flag anyway, even though I didn't get it. Reload overall went, went pretty well. Now, one thing AK fans out there will notice is I reloaded with the rare aluminum waffle mag that the Soviets fielded for a short period of time. Clearly, they had some issues with the durability of the aluminum, so they discontinued it. Nevertheless, it's a functional mag and a pretty neat piece of kit to have for your AK collection. Okay, same drill, AK-74. Three to the body, click, reload, one to the head. Attempting to hit the T-slot. Going hot. Okay, similar results. I missed one of the body shots, but had the other two go through. Nice reload, nice and smooth. Then I've missed the head shot. Now, essentially between the two guns, it's kind of a wash in the actual mechanics of the reload, but the 545 does have an advantage with the softer recoil. Which gun would I choose? Overall, I'd feel comfortable with either one. I've shot both of them a lot. I'm very comfortable with the AK as a whole, but if I had to come down to it and pick one or the other to take into the field, I'd care the AK-74. I think overall, it's probably a little bit better choice for the given platform. We hope you've enjoyed this episode on the AK-74 and the SVD. These guns are in use all around the globe by bad guys, and our military is going to be facing these guns for years to come. So it's a good idea to know their strengths and their weaknesses. We'll see you right back here next time on Tactical Arms.